The Warwick is just a few blocks from the Uptown Theater, where we're heading next. It's a much larger venue than Knuckleheads, where a David Bowie tribute concert had already been planned well before the artist's shocking death in early January. With so much interest in Bowie's musical legacy, the concert became an almost epic event for an A-list of Kansas City musicians. Producer and videographer John McGrath has a backstage look for you at the band who fell to earth. I put together this uh, tribute to David Bowie a couple months ago. I think it started back in December. I've played a lot of tribute shows, and that was really my way to get really into the scene and start collaborating with people. That um, So we set that in motion, and then about a month later, he passed away. So the meaning of the show completely changed. And, uh, I think we sold out a total of three times. So, you know, a couple days before the event, we had to move it to Uptown Theater. And honestly, I was a little worried because that's a really big room. That's one of the biggest rooms in Kansas City. So I put together a bunch of musicians that mostly I haven't worked with before, just always wanted to. We had Steve Tulipana on lead vocals. Nathan Corsi on lead vocals and guitar. Alex Alexander on lead guitar. Kyle Dahlquist on keys. Stephanie Williams on drums. We had Betsy Ellis and Clark Wyatt on violin and cello. Rich Wheeler on saxophone. Our backup singers were Lauren Crum, Andrea Tudhope, and Rachel Christia. Michael Tipton also sang lead vocals on a couple songs. And we had Matt Ronan on the congas. There were a lot of, it was a lot of excitement, a lot of nerves. You know, like I said, we, we really had no idea that was going to be as big as it was, especially, you know, in the beginning, but even in the days before, we just, we had no idea. So I think, you know, we were all pretty nervous, but just really excited to get out there and do it because we, we had rehearsed extensively for it. So I, I knew that we were ready and I think everybody else knew they were ready and we were just feeding off all of the energy from each other. Yeah. It's more cool. Oh no. Everybody's getting eyeliner. I brought like three things of eyeliner. Yeah, I forgot everybody had eyeliner on. Everybody was doing eyeliner. Well, Bowie, you know, he kind of was the pioneer of the glam movement. So, you know, a lot of us were wearing sparkly outfits, and I think everybody wore eyeliner. So we just kind of wanted to pay tribute to that. You know, there's a lot of tribute bands out there, and and a lot of them try to replicate like the styles of the band and try to look exactly like them. We didn't want to do that, but we wanted to make sure we honored him in a way. I stumble into town Just like a sacred cow Visions of swastikas in my head Plans for everyone It's in the way of my Okay. 
Long live David Bowie. <laughs> Happy birthday! You know, it was just a really magical moment. Everybody was amazing. That was. You were dealing with the whole time. Hold on. We just shared this really great couple of hours with 900 of our friends. That was perfect, dude. Thank that you. Was really that was so freaking awesome, John shot a number of songs over the course of the night. You can see more of David Bowie's music at flatlandkc.org.